What's going on, guys? Hope y'all are having a great day. I uh, got another great shave plan for you. Uh, two products that we've never used before on camera. Just going through some old videos and realized that I hadn't used these yet, so we're going to knock them out. Um, so the first one is going to be the uh, Supermax. It's just triple action lather shaving cream. What the box says, anyway. And I don't remember why I haven't used this yet. I think I just forgot about it. But uh, there's that. And for the razor tonight, uh, we're going to be going with the Mongoose. It does take the uh, Schick blade. So, brush tonight. A little badger. I'm sorry, boar. I apologize. And, uh, yeah, so we'll jump right into it. Should be a great shave. Uh, ignore the screaming child in the background. He didn't take a nap today. I get a little grouchy when I don't take naps either, so, you know, it is what it is. Um, had a busy, busy day today, guys. I had to go into work for a couple hours this morning. It's supposed to be a day off. Well, that didn't work out too well. Um, just putting a little bit of water back on the face. It's been a few minutes since I got out of the shower, so just putting a little bit more water back on the face here. All right. Um, anyway, got my front yard fertilized put out some weed killer got the tree replanted um or not replanted but uh reset up right it was leaning i don't know why it was leaning but it was anyway uh for those of y'all that are asking it's a chickapin oak uh it's real pretty it's just now blooming it's gorgeous um love those trees so we planted one in the front yard um so yeah been working on that most of the day today so anyway not that y'all care but that's what i've been having going on It just smells like shaving cream. So, nothing spectacular, but yeah, you should be in good shape. Put a little bit right here. A little bit right there. A little bit right there. There we go. So, how's your day been? Did you have a good day? I did. All right, right into a face lather. Now this brush I have noticed um, is a little bit on the uh, weak side to me anyway, at least for most of the brushes that I use. But it just goes to show you that you don't need an extremely stiff backbone brush when you're using a cream. Now I could, I could see maybe, maybe using the soap. You know, like a real hard soap, like a Mitchell's Wool Fat. Um, maybe. But even for a Williams, yeah, it'll still work well. It does the job it's supposed to do. But as you can see, that cream just lathers right up. There's no problems there at all. Which is what I thought was going to happen. So... Right now, we have the uh, basketball tournament going on. Uh, my uh, Arkansas Razorbacks defeated the Kansas Jayhawks just barely, but they won. So they are headed to the Sweet 16, so that'll be fun to watch. All right, first shave of the Mongoose. Again, this uses a Schick blade. Been much requested, and I don't know why I haven't done it yet. I just haven't. I haven't got around to it. So we're going to go ahead. This is about a day and a half worth of growth. And there we go. There's the angle right there. First couple strokes is a little difficult to find that angle. Let's find it. Not bad. Head good and tight still. It's a good shaving razor. I wouldn't necessarily put it above my shovel head, but it's a good razor. You know? Uh, I like the weight of the handle. 
That is nice. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. I got a little spot on my face right there from something either bit me or I got something on my face at work. I'm not sure exactly what happened, but I've had a spot on my skin right there for a while. Just won't go away. And I will say this, uh, the angle is easy to find on this razor. Okay, it's not too bad. Uh, you can definitely feel when you have the right angle. It's extremely efficient, which is good. And I do like that uh, it uses the Schick blades. I've been a fan of the Schick blades. Um, they uh, they work well. I like the fact that they're very rigid. Yeah, I knew that was gonna be a problem. But what are you gonna do about it, right? All right, second pass here. Get some lather back on the face. We're going to tone this second pass down here with a little water. I'm just dipping the tips into the water and then going back on the face here. There we go. There we go, that's better. Just thinning it down a little bit. Every now and then, if you need to get more out of your brush, yeah, you can do this too. That's not bad at all. All right. Second pass is going to be across the growth. We're not going to do a third pass tonight, so don't need to. I especially like this razor going backhand. Okay. Yeah. Angle is easy to find and easy to hold going backhand, and that's important. Hope y'all have a good week at work this week, or a good week if you're retired. Just going across the groove here. I'm just going kind of slow right here. There we go. And this one spot always seems to be a little trouble spot for me. There we go. Not bad at all. Put it right there. Pull the skin over. Come back down. Supermax is good stuff. I don't know why I haven't used this cream before. Very good slickness to it. Very good slickness. All right. Go ahead and dry off the face. Okay, now we've got that little spot on our face like we were talking about. Uh, one of the best things that you can use in that situation is a styptic pencil. You just take the edge, get the edge in the water, and then where you got to cut, there we go. It does sting just a little bit, but it's not too bad.
All right, my thoughts on the mongoose. I like how it has a very abrupt angle on it right here. Makes finding the angle very easy. Uh, I like the handle. It's got good good weight to it. It's good balance. Uh, I like this. I like the uh, matte color to it. Goes together very 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 easily, which is a good thing, uh, especially for me because I will cut myself on a piece of paper if I'm not careful. Um, I almost did there and right now what I'm doing is I'm just cleaning off this blade just getting all the excess shaving cream and hair and stuff off of it there we go so for those of you that so the tongue got in front of my tooth couldn't see what I'm saying for those of you that are not familiar with this razor got two studs on it right there and then you just put your blade Right there, just like that. I gotta hold it when I turn it around, but it's right there on those two studs. Bottom plate has the holes cut out in it as well. That matches right there. Everything goes together good and tight, and it's a good razor for that. Holds the blade securely, there's no blade wobble, no wiggle, no waggle, no nothing like that at all. It goes together very, very nicely. So it's got one to ten. Uh, I give it a seven, seven and a half. Um, one thing I do wish it had was on the bottom, this part right down here on the handle, just a little bit more knurling. I like knurling anywhere on a razor I can get it. Not that I'm worried I'm going to drop it. I just like the way that it feels in the hand. Um, so there's that. It's efficient. It does the job. So any other razor, you hold it at the right angle. The blade's not messed up and you have good technique, you'll get a good shave. So I'm sure my shaves would be better if I used it more, and we'll continue to use it some more um, and get a little bit better shaves out of it. So uh, after shave for tonight, oh, uh, let's see. Oh, uh, what do we got tonight? Tonight I'm going to go with a Clubman. We'll go with the uh, Classic Vanilla because we can Usually with the gents gin, but we'll change it up a little bit tonight. Whew, that's a good shave. All right. Hope you all enjoyed. I enjoyed making the video. I enjoyed being back. It's, it's nice. Um, not sure what the frequency of these videos posting will be, but, you know, we'll do the best we can and see what happens. So, uh, until next time, hope you guys have a great day. You have great shaves and uh, enjoy the rest of your week. Thanks. Bye.